Hi, Jared from Visuals by Impulse, and we're gonna go over exactly how to set up your Beast Hunter webcam frame. The very first thing I want you to do is locate your main directory, and in here you'll see the one-click setups folder. If you're on Stream Elements, go ahead and do this folder and you'll see the Facebook, the Twitch, and the YouTube setup. As well as the Streamlabs over here, you'll have the Streamlabs setup. The link will take you to where you can log into your Streamlabs account and then choose your scene. I choose the default scene here to activate it. And you can check it by launching this launcher right here to check the alert. Do a test donation and you can see right away the alert is working. Now over in Streamlabs OBS, let's go ahead and create a new scene and we'll call it Living Webcam. Inside of this scene, we're gonna go ahead and add our alert box. So the essential alert box, go ahead and add source. We'll just call it alert box. And make sure you put this width to 1920 and then height to 1080. And we're gonna do the same thing for our webcam frame and that way it puts it in the exact position we need it into. So we're gonna go ahead and test this widget and I'm gonna to wanna to bring it over to right on the middle here. And that seems to be working right. Now go over to our folder and we're going to locate in the main directory, the overlays. You'll see we have some static webcams with and without the jewel. So we could bring those in or let's go to our main living webcam. And this overlay file right here, we're going to drag this HTML right into our scene and put it underneath our alert box. Similarly, we're going to set this to 1920 by 1080 that way it fits perfectly. Double click on the alert box to see if it's in the correct position. And we know it should be because we set the width and the height, but let's go ahead and test it. We'll run a donation test widget right here. And that seems to work in perfectly. So it is in the correct position. Let's go ahead and do a follow as well. And you'll see that that's working as well. So now let's go ahead and add a video capture source here. So video capture device, and I'll just leave it with that default name. I'll go to my camera and hit done. And then now I'm gonna place this underneath the overlay, make sure it's underneath. That way we can get it in the correct position we want. And go ahead and put it right into your frame where you'd like it to be. And there you go. Uh, so now let's go over to the Beast Hunter and let's import, this is my main scene. So this would be your main scene. Go ahead now and import a scene. So add source and then select the living webcam, add the source. And now I can, I can drag this around where I want it. I can align this into my scene uh, where I want it into this scene here. And that way everything is contained inside of the scene. And then we can, we can move this where, around wherever we want and size it all together. Let's go ahead and bring in the one by one cam now. And so we'll put this where we want the one by one camera. We're going to have to crop our video capture device, so right click on it and go to filters and add a filter here. And this is a filter we're going to have to crop with. So go to the crop pad filter here, hit done. And then now on the left and the right, we're going to do 270 by 270. And that's going to give us a one by one and place that, scale it up a little bit and put it inside our camera. And then go ahead and turn off this overlay box. So let's go ahead and click on here and let's test the widgets. Let's go ahead and test and hit follow and let's see how that works. Let's see if it works well with the one by one. So now I'm not gonna have my beast up here doing any animation on the one by one or the four by three. However, I can link up my alert box to go ahead and interact with the webcam as well. So if I go back to my main scene here, I can move around my webcam just like we did earlier. And if I get a now I can go ahead and cue a test in our main scene. And let's see what that looks like. There you go. New donation. John just gave me $75. So thank you, John. Additionally, if you'd like to change the colors of the webcam and the alerts, now that everything is contained in this scene, we have the alert box and the cam, go into your main scene here and right click on your scene that's within your scene and go to filters. And now you can add a filter and we're gonna call this, um, well, it's gonna be a color correction. So go to the color correction filter and we can change this to color change. And then we're gonna go in here and mess with the hue and the saturation. You can change all kinds of colors here. Let's say we wanna go with something really bright. Uh, I like I like something in there, let's, let's try that. Let's go with that, yeah, I kinda like the darker one. And hit okay, and there we go, so now I have this and we can we can go into our alert box and give this a test and you'll see that even the alerts are now colored 
So I hope you enjoy the Beast Hunter Living webcam. And if you have any questions or need any help, please never hesitate to let us know. That's what we're here for.